In this video, we will see a scenario where we get the SAS log warning which says X number of observations omitted due to missing ID values. When we try to transpose data from long to wide, we specify the name of the variable which we want to transpose on the var statement. On the var statement. It, so SAS creates those many number of columns equivalent to the number of rows. So here we have four rows. So SAS transposes it, the values to appear on new columns and it will create four columns as there were four rows. And SAS automatically names the newly created columns beginning with a prefix of COL call. And then it creates those many number of columns. As we had four rows, it created call one, call two, call three and call four. But if we do not want SAS to automatically name the newly created columns, but instead use the values from a second variable as the names of the newly created columns. So we specify the name of that variable on the ID statement. So here in this case, we are instructing SAS that we want the values from LP test CD variables to be used as the names of the newly created columns. So like this. So here we have values like HGB, RBC, WBC and NEUT and instead of naming the columns with the automatic naming convention of call 1 to call 4 we are using the these values to appear as the names of the newly created columns. But what will happen when one of the values is missing on the variable specified on the ID statement. So SAS is trying to create columns newly created columns with the values present in the ID variable. So when one of the values is missing, so SAS tries to create a column with missing value, but as SAS cannot accept a missing value, missing value in the variable name, it automatically ignores those records with the value missing in the variable specified in the ID statement and gives us the warning which says warning one observations omitted due to missing ID value. So here in this case, we had only one row with missing value in the variable specified on ID statement. So we had got the warning saying that one observation is omitted. But if we had two observations with missing values in the LB test CD variable or the variable specified on the ID variable, it would have become two. And similarly, the count gets incremented depending on the number of missing values. So as SAS cannot have a variable with missing name, so SAS ignores those rows and then creates a data set with only which had non-missing value in the LB test CD variable in this case.